As we get into the new school year, a lot of you are probably learning about power sets for the first time. And so I thought I'd give you some advice on writing out power sets so you don't lose any points on those pesky power set questions. We understand how torturous the process of writing out power sets can be, so it's good to have some direction. Let's begin with just a quick recap on what a power set is. If we have a set, let's say, S, consisting of, let's just say it has A and B, then the power set of S, which we denote P of S, is the set containing all subsets of S. So zoom in a little bit here. In this case, uh, the subsets of S are what? Well, there's the empty set. You wanna make sure you don't forget that. There is the set containing the element A, that's an element of the power set because it's a subset of S. And there's the set containing the other element, B, that is also a subset of S, and so it's also an element of the power set. And then finally, there's the set containing both A and B, which happens to be the whole set S itself. And so that looks like that. We can then close this bracket off. That is the power set of S. You should notice it contains one, two, three, four elements. My first tip for you is when writing out these power sets, make sure that the number of elements you have, the number of subsets you've listed, matches the correct amount. Remember, if I'm constructing subsets of this set S, then for each element, A and B, for each element I have two choices when I'm constructing a subset. Either I could include A or not include A. So those are two choices. And then for each of those two choices, I have another two choices. I could include B or not include B. Of course, this is equal to four, and that's how many subsets we have here. We know we've got them all. In general, of course, if a set has finite order, if a set S has a finite number of elements or cardinality, then the cardinality of its power set is two to the power of this set's cardinality. Uh, so sorry, let me write this differently. The uh, cardinality of the power set of S, if S has finite cardinality, it is of course two to the power of the cardinality of S. And again, that's because the power set contains all the subsets. And when we're constructing subsets, we have two choices for each of the cardinality of S elements. We have two choices for each of them, include it or don't include it. So that means if we have a set with four elements in it, then the power set is going to contain two to the power of four subsets. And of course that would be 16, that's a pretty big power set, and that's probably the biggest power set you would be asked to construct by hand. And we're gonna do one of those guys today. So before we start that, um, my point in going over this really is to give you some idea how you can write out these power sets in a way that is orderly and so you don't miss any, okay? Because that's really the biggest difficulty that you'll encounter in listing these out is you miss one and then it's really hard and time consuming to go back and figure out which subset you forgot. Uh, before we do that and get into this painstaking example, the one last thing I wanna say is uh, just a note on writing the set brackets because when you have to write so many set brackets, they might get really ugly if you're not trained in writing them. So the way you should think about writing them if you want them to look decently good um, is to write it in two, two pieces, okay? So the left bracket is an S and then a backwards S. And then for the right bracket, you do a backwards S and then a forward S. And ever since I learned that trick, my brackets have looked pretty darn good. At least I'm proud of them. So again, it's like a forward S for the top half of the left bracket. And then it's a backwards S to finish it. I'm writing them separate just so you can see those pieces. And then when I do the right bracket, I'm gonna do a backwards S on top and then a uh, frontwards facing S on bottom. Of course, you don't want it to be quite as curvy as a normal S. You want it to be more subtle, almost like an integral sign. Um, and that's how you can make some nice looking brackets. Now, with that said, it's time to write out our big fat power set. So let's name our set. I'll put it up here. Um, again, we'll just call this set S. And we'll say this set, it has four elements. We'll call those elements A, B, C, and 
D. And so its power set is going to have 2 to the power of 4, which is 16 elements. There are 16 subsets of this guy. And so we're going to go through and write them all in order to write out its power set. Now to write out the power set in an orderly way and to make sure we don't miss any of the subsets, we should follow a particular pattern that I'm going to recommend. And I'll trace out that pattern with my fingers. So we're going to start with the empty set and then we'll do the one element subsets. A, B, C, D, working from left to right. Then we'll do the two element subsets, A, B, A, C, A, D, B, C, B, D, C, D. And then we'll do the three element subsets, A, B, C, A, B, D, A, C, D, and B, C, D. Really, the idea is that each right finger is going through the whole set as far as it can, and then whichever finger is to the left of it will move forward one, right? So if we look at that three element situation again, I start with ABC, and then my rightmost finger moves to the right one, and that's as far as it can go. So then this finger, which is next to it, goes right one, that's as far as it can go. So then this finger, which is next to that, goes right one, and that's as far as it can go. And so then we're done with the three element sub sets. Just like with the two finger situation, I start here and then my right finger can go over one and then it can go over one again. Then it's gone as far as it can and so my left finger then has to go over one and then now my other finger here can actually go to C so I bring it back over there and then this right finger will start moving towards the right again until it reaches its stopping point in which case my left finger will move forward one and it sounds confusing uh, let's try it all right why don't we go ahead and do this well you know what I'll do is I'll write the power set I'll start it in black and then all of the subsets will put in purple. So our first opening bracket will be black and our closing bracket will be black. All the subsets in between will be purple. So color coding this stuff can definitely help so your eyes don't just melt looking at all the brackets. All right, so over here, we're starting with the power set of S. I don't imagine this is all gonna fit on one line, but here we go. Nice big opening bracket. And like I said, we're gonna start with the empty set. So this is the subset of S, which contains no elements. If the empty set is weird to you, I mean, maybe it, it still is, it's weird to a lot of folks, it is of course a subset of every set. Why? Well, because if the empty set was not a subset of this, then by definition, the empty set would have to have something in it, which isn't in this. But obviously that's not possible because the empty set has nothing in it by its very definition. So it's a sort of trivial or vacuous uh, subset. All right, so we've got all the subsets with zero elements. Now we're moving on to all the subsets with a single element. That's straightforward, A, B, C, D, right? We'll just go left to right. I can zoom in just a little bit. So here we go, we got the, oh, whoops. <laughs> I screwed that one up. Um, oh, oh man, okay. All right, we're just gonna have to stick with that. So here's my subset, which contains A. Here's my subset, which contains B. Here's my subset, which contains C. And here's my subset, which contains D. You are, of course, welcome to pause the video and try to do this yourself in solidarity with me. Um, you know, it's not the most fun thing in the world, but gotta do what you gotta do. All right, we still got some more space here and we can move on to the two element subsets. So I'm thinking about starting with A, B, then A, C, then A, D, like that. Think about it like a ticker running along all these elements. All right, so the first subset with two elements is gonna have A and B. And then, gotta move my, my T out of the way here. And then we can move on to A and C. So the next subset has A and C. And then the next subset will have A and D. You can see the commas are getting a little confusing here. There's so many commas. Now, after I've got my right finger to D, my left finger can move forward one. And so then I'm gonna bring my right finger um, back to meet it at C. So now it's B and C. That's the next two element subset. There's a lot of two element subsets. And then my right finger can go over one, and I'm going to have B, D, B, D. And I am now off screen, so I got to zoom out a little here. There you go. You can see everything now. And we're going to come back over and start line two over here. 
So now that I've done BD, my right finger has gone as far as it can, so I bring my left finger over for CD, and thank heavens, that's the last two element subset. So C, D. All right, now that I'm done all the two element subsets, I need all of the three element subsets. Remember, at the end, we should have 16 subsets. So starting my first three element subset, that's gonna be A, B, C. So the subset that contains A, B, and C. And then I'm moving my right finger over one and I got A, B, D. So the next subset contains A, B, and D. You can of course adapt this strategy uh, for subsets of any size that you like, as long as you understand you know, the method here. All right, so we had A, B, D, and now this right finger has gone as far as it can. So the finger next to it, I'll move right one. A, C, and D, that's the next subset. A, C, D, just like that. All right, after A, C, D, both my right fingers have moved as far as I can. So I bring my left finger over one. That's B, C, D, and there's uh, nothing left, it would seem, except the whole set itself. So let's count everything up. We should have 15 subsets right now inside of our power set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Look at that, works like a charm. Finally, I can put the entire set, the subset containing all four of the elements, A, B, C, uh, and D. Nothing like spending Sunday writing out a power set with 16 elements. And then we can close this off with that black close bracket. So yeah, power sets, not super fun. Um, you wanna be careful when you're writing these out cause it's, you know, it's just so time consuming. If you miss an element and you have to go through and try to check which one you missed, it can be um, a big pain. Now, if you understand combinations, you know, like uh, N choose K, that type of thing, binomial coefficient, uh, you know how to count how many subsets of each size there should be, and so that could help you. Um, but yeah, make sure you know how many subsets you should be listing out. It's two to the power of the cardinality of your set. And make sure to count those and make sure you have the correct amount. When you're writing the brackets, I recommend the very nice S technique. It gives you consistent good results. And uh, it's way better like than, <laughs> I mean, the, the way I was doing it when I first started writing out sets, I think was, yeah, like that. I would just try to do a little curve and then like a little spike. And um, it was really tiresome. Like even though it's a single stroke, it's way more jagged and uncomfortable than just doing front ass backwards ass over and over again. That's just really smooth and easy. Now, fun fact about power sets. I mean, they are really cool, even though the whole writing them out part can be a huge pain, especially when you're just learning, um, you know, all this set stuff for the first time. Uh, they're super cool though, in fact, Notice here, um, our set S had four elements and it's power set way bigger. It's got 16 elements. In fact, the power set of any set will always have a cardinality bigger than the original set. Now you might think, well, duh, that's, that's completely obvious. Of course, the power set will have a bigger cardinality than the uh, original set itself. The cool part is that's also true for infinite sets. And so depending on your knowledge about infinity slash infinities, um, that may be surprising or really surprising. I'm not sure, but I think you'll have a lot of fun uh, learning more math this year. So good luck. Let me know if you have any questions and be sure to subscribe for more of the swankiest math videos on the internet.